<laughs> what? Right, I ain't gonna about? say it. Nah, I ain't wait, even wait, gonna say wait, that. Wait, wait. No one ain't even gonna believe that. I used to rap that my name was Lisa. But it's it was me. Knew it was you. you know what you said to me? What did I say? You said, this man can't move to me with bags. <laughs> I'm pissed now. I'm more <laughs> pissed with the engineer that he's fucked up the whole. I remember I've got this planned in my head, innit? Nine, see, his school was like two minutes up the road from my school. Coming home from school, we'd all be on the bus at the top. There's I, been a few. See you, <laughs> Posty. Oh my days. Yo, it's this not me guy, behind man. the buttons, you know. The amount of L's that I've taken. What other yes. ones you got for me? All right, cool. Oh shit, my nigga Chris. Oh, <laughs> Come on, man. Posty, you know? You good, yeah? Yeah, you tell him you good. I don't even know how that functions. I thought I pressed the button and it just buses. No, you just press this thing. What well, one though? Damn, man, what's good? Everyone thinks you're in jail, so I have to pull up quickly, I man. Know, I know, Show them I know. the evidence. I think I've been running with it though, still, car. Yeah, I just wanted to hit them with the element of surprise. No, what the course. plan was, you see, when I announced my show the other day? Yeah, yeah. That was supposed to kill it. Like, yo, I'm home, I got a show, but. When I've announced it, still in the comments and that people saying free scraps, free scraps. I don't want to say the name, but another artist hit me up on the gram just saying, yo, hope you're good, anything you need, hit man. But it was a type of message where he thought I was in pen. Just oh, hoping I see it, yeah. But I'm saying, yeah man, I'm good. Send your number. Then when I've hit him, he's surprised, he's like, Ra, you're home. And then he's the one that kind of suggested that I do something live, like on my phone, like either post, a story with my face in it or like go live quickly yeah. because he's saying it's still it's still not clear that I'm home basically. You might be one of the only people that was in an established grime crew that made a successful transition into like rap. Like you're one of the foundations mm -hmm, of UK mm -hmm. rap today and I don't think a lot of people were able to make that transition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, saying that, there is a few. There is a few, because you got Getz, Skepta. No, but Getz is, Getz and yeah, Skepta are still, yeah, 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 they're yeah, still yeah, like yeah, the heads yeah. of Gram, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do rap occasionally, but don't get me wrong. they still got their foot in Gram yeah. as well, yeah. Like, you made that full transition where no one could ever I couldn't you. even do Gram right now, even if I tried, just based on, you see, the energy that it requires. I don't have it no more. And I always found it easier to express myself on a rap beat because of the tempo, you ain't got to be so fast. And with Grime, the lyrics don't really... Some men are gifted enough to be able to write a Grime lyric that has substance to it, but that's rare. He was in SLK first, mm -hmm. and then you kind of disappeared for a while, yeah. and then you came back and your presentation was more of an ICE-based mm -hmm. rapper sort of thing. How did you go from there to there? Is it like the same, is it like, was it like the same people were still around the whole time? Or, mm. yeah, how, how, how can you explain that? Do you know what? It's more how my life transitioned. The whole thing was just a life transition. It wasn't like a music transition. The SLK part of the journey, that was from like school, after school, ending a secondary school and so on into like, let's say about 18, 19. It was more the money that man was getting from doing shows and all of that. There was nothing in it, it weren't making no sense. So like they would get a booking, it would be the whole of us would turn up, perform, but the money is just a joke thing, innit? And I kind of just grew out of it, my passion for it, everything just died down. And then um, I had my first daughter, 07. 09, had another daughter. And then YouTube and all of that became popular, like with the music videos and all of that. And I was watching a channel called Beat to Beats, where artists would go on there and just free stuff. I just felt like I could do better, innit? Yeah. That's literally how it went. And then, yeah, man just started going to the studio. I used to go to the studio and grow. There wasn't an ICE at the time. So Nines, he's always been called at rapping from an early age, from young. There's footage of him from like 16, 17 doing freestyles where he's just called, but he's never taken it seriously. It's always just been a hobby. Enough of the man them can rap, just they're naturally gifted. And then I went 
on one of them holidays in 2011. Yeah. But at that time, I had a song called Killing Them Out. Yeah. That was kind of ringing off locally. Spiff TV and all of that was around at that yeah, time. Yeah, I remember that. GRM Grime Daily, it was yeah. called at the time. Paul Stewart charged, man, to put a video nah, on Nah, nah, that wasn't me, man. Of course it was That me. wasn't me, man. I swear to God, me, it wasn't me. You had to do what you had to do, innit? Nah, do you know what's funny? Like, them times, we didn't have no one working for us, so I used to reply to the people submitting their videos. Yeah. And I used to write that my name was Lisa. But, but it's it was me. I knew it was you. Of course it was nah, you. No, but now it's not me, though, just to yeah, be clear. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. That's for them, guys. I don't know how much the fee is right now. But. So, yeah, 2011, went on holiday. Basically, nine stepped out and just took off like, whoa. Was that the turkey joint? I think I the first that. one was the trainers. The Benjo trainers. hit me up about that. Yeah, the, but all these times I'm, in, I'm away on this holiday. I'm yeah. just seeing it from a distance. So at this point, you and him are already friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have grew up in Crickwood in an area called Childs Hill. Yeah. He's from Church Road, obviously, but Nines, he's, his school was like two minutes up the road from my school. So on the bus and that, coming home from school, we'd all be on the bus at the top, like both schools. But after school's done or whatever, the man and just link up on the ends. He had songs recorded, but he didn't... Um, put them out he didn't put anything out yeah all right cool so it's 011 you've seen he stepped out obviously I, like i said ben jart sent me the um the turkey video as well he's like post this on graham daily it was on sbtv the video and he's like post this on the website yeah this guy's making noise right now so you step out i suppose you came out of your holiday at that time i came out 2014 yeah so yeah when i've stepped out nines is already flourishing so the i city thing that happened just before I went on my holiday. We done a track, Line of Fire, you know like the Line of Fire Nines does on his albums? Yeah. We was on part one or part two at the time. And on the intro of one of them, Super, I remember the day like yesterday, when we was in the studio, he's gone and done the intro. He don't rap, but he's just like a vibes man, innit? Yeah. So he's just gone in the booth and said whatever he's saying, I city jewels when I pity. And then literally, that was it. Oh, so he said it by accident on a vibey that, one. Yeah. Not even by accident. He said it on purpose on a vibey yeah. one and it's just stuck. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Then, um, yeah, Nines has started stepping out while I was on holiday. But even that, he's more stepping out as a solo artist. It's not no crew, Ice City Boys or nothing like that. Yeah. And then when I've landed from my holiday, it's like... Yeah, that was like the missing piece to the puzzle kind of thing. Now we're seen as a group now because there's him, there's me. Then you got Fats, you got um, Streets, you got J Stars, Toxic. So now we're seen as a collective, isn't it? You've done a lot of positive affirmations when you start rapping. So, like for example, you say stuff like the one and only. Mm -hmm. And because you're good, you obviously know words are powerful. So because you're good, obviously, if he was shit and he was like the one and only, no mm. one would really take that seriously. Does yeah, that make yeah, sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you got positive affirmations like the one and only, mm -hmm. not one of them, none of them. Yeah, yeah. Like, you get real anthemic when it gets to these things. Like, has there been any structure to the way you've been presenting these things or is it just like by accident, it's all just kind of turned out and worked out to make sense? I wouldn't say accident. There definitely wasn't a structure to it. Like, I wasn't planning, but it wasn't an accident at the same time. It's, it's more a feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've always felt different. When certain people... There's things that I'm prepared to do that people aren't prepared to do. Just, I don't know. I've just always felt different. Well, an example of that, actually, and that, that kind of belief is, like, you've actually been able to successfully, like, remix potentially the one of the, the greatest rappers ever in the world remix their song, which mm. is already a classic, and make it another classic. It was more just me showing homage, not to him, obviously, you don't know, man, but that's the era that man grew up on, like, 90s rap music, isn't it? Obviously, you see reactions to that song all the time. It's timeless now. Mm. Like, every year, it just gets better. Yeah. In the yeah, dance, yeah. in the raves, Literally. at weddings, Literally. everything. Where's the maddest place that you've seen 
react to that song coming on. I once saw like a wedding video. Yeah, Ghanaian wedding where, they where the girl it. was yeah, shutting yeah, yeah, it yeah, yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think that would have to be the maddest one still. Like, shout out to her husband. Like, he found a real one because that, like, that made me feel like raw. Like, yeah. when I get married, <laughs> I want my girl to be acting like this. Even the fact that she, it was a female that knew it she word was for going word. crazy. Yeah, man. anyway, once that's landed, I remember I got a call from Jazzy from, he was on holiday. And he's like, yo, brother, what's this, what you just dropped? And he's very critical. You know him yourself. Yeah, yeah, he's very yeah. critical. He's hitman from there, like, yo, brother, this thing, what you just dropped, mad. And I think that song is like a representation of what, what you mean in music, because I feel like a lot of the mandem, especially rappers and people, just feel like you're like the mandem's rapper. In fact, I think I heard Pound Sterling say that once, that he was the mandem's mm -hmm. rapper. And when he said that, I thought that was very poignant because I thought, rah, you just hit the nail on the head. But also, for some strange reason, like, the girls really fuck with you as well. Yeah, but I think that's more as of late, you know. And I think it's off the strength of that song. Do you know what's happened? I feel like the man them are rolling around listening to you, yeah? Yeah. They might have a ting in the car, yeah? Yeah. But they're not even realizing that this whole time yeah, they're yeah, like she's selling just you. Absorbing <laughs> yeah, she's just <laughs> absorbing yeah. you. And you're just becoming some sort of superhero. <laughs> there is this one song that you've done, like, I like uh, to play yeah, verses with my brethren, yeah? yeah? Yeah, yeah, come on. I play verses with my brethren. Yeah. I was going back to back with a couple of ladies that had their boyfriend stuck in the penitentiary. Uh -huh. They had me on the ropes. Like, they've, I've played a tune, they played a tune. I'm mm. thinking, how can I win this? I just started playing waiting. Yeah, to drill for that one. Bro, yeah, like, the game stopped. Like, they started you. crying and all that. Yeah, Chorus yeah, time, yeah, 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 yeah. all that kind of stuff. Like, that do the one, females react to that one as well? Like, does yeah, that mean yeah, a lot yeah, to yeah, them? Fully, because it's a real track in it so there's yeah. a lot of people that's going through that exam on both sides of the fence as well so the females can relate to it because their man is in jail so they're the ones that are waiting or of course supposed to be waiting or telling him that they're waiting or whatever's going on yeah and then for the man i'm speaking from the male perspective like your biz whatever whatever we argue on the phone, I love you. Like, enough men are shy to say I love you or whatever, but if you hear a man like me can say it, you will, you'll feel like it's cool then, isn't it? If he said We're it, saying right, you made nice. it all right to tell some, some yeah, you made it all right for I some guys cool to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, like, in this game, sometimes a lot of opportunities present themselves. Sometimes you might be busy, sometimes you might have been lazy at the time or mm. whatever, for whatever reason, something that's not personal. But what features or what songs could you have been on that we never got a chance to? One that just popped to mind, there's probably more, but one that popped to mind is an NSG song, Trust Issues. Yeah. At that time, there was something serious going on where if I just came out and done a video and put out a video at that, in that period of time, it would have, yeah, it wouldn't have looked good. We organised this 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 drive actually when I was in Ghana. I was speaking to you mm -hmm. in Ghana. I had you on loudspeaker because I was doing something. Yeah. And my driver, once you came off the phone, like my driver started asking me, "Oh, he goes, is your friend Jamaican?" And I said, "No, no, no, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone <laughs> <he's can't laughs> yeah. in. I swear to you." I get that all the time. Like, but how how much Jamaican culture do you think like influenced you growing up in Northwest London? I would say like a seventy percent of my friends are. You're basically Caribbean. you're basically nature, your nature gone in nurture, Caribbean. Nah, I wouldn't say that because at the same time, yeah, when people say to me you sound Jamaican, when you hear Jamaicans speak, they don't speak like me. I don't speak patois. I'm not speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah. speak like I'm from the roads, innit? So yeah. man, speak a certain way, but. Northwest has got a certain twang, like yeah, 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 and it's not. It's just I don't know. That's just what it is. Man, don't force it. Yeah, Northwest. You you lot have got crazy slang words over there. I remember but the every first time area's I heard. Got their own dog. No, 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 no. You lot got the craziest ones. Like I remember the first time someone explained to me what a whopper was. 
A whopper? What? Yeah. That's only a northwesting. Yeah, I swear to you, it's got to be. Nah, man. I so what do men from East say? Nah, nah, I ain't even getting no. Into this is what that. I'm trying to but say, but I have only heard whopper. Own... I've only heard whopper from one part whopper, of Whopper, wet is. The weird thing what I get is people tell me I look Jamaican. That one don't, I can't do nothing about Nah, but it. you know what though? I went to Jamaica recently and I realised that Jamaicans don't look the same. So you can't really say, that's my opinion yeah, by the way. And but apparently you... they got an ends out there, some maroon tribe or something where everyone out there looks like Ghanaians. Like they got the same head shape in that as us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to do a test on how Ghanaian you really are because I feel like a lot of people need to know. Like, I've got faith in you. I've got a couple of questions, I yeah? I said he's got faith, <laughs> faith in you. I've got faith in you. All right, the first question is, do you know what Gari looks like? Do can, I know? Do you know I'm what Gari looks like? Can you describe I it? I was you? making that in Joe, just oh. on a normal... On a on a Sunday dinner thing with tuna or mackerel. Oh. But what do you want, what do you want no, me no, to No, no, what colour is it? What colour is it? It's like whitey grey. All right, say the one. Come uh, down, say the one. No, no, I thought I'd give you a light one to start uh, with. Mate. All right, who is famous for playing an integral part? Kwame it... and Krumah. Oh, shit, nigga. This is all offensive. Oh, shit, nigga. <laughs> all right, what is Ghana also known as? Gold Coast. Shit. Come on, Paul. Okay, 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 uh, okay, I'm okay. This. All right, this is the last one. This is the last Go one. On. What's the first name of the footballer whose last name was Pele? That was from Ghana. Um, yes. Abedi. Oh my days. Abedi Pele. I'm sorry. I apologize. But I apologize. Why, why? I've heard gigs talk about it before, but I wanted to hear it from your point of view. Mm. I feel like the second time that you really got my attention was when he sent me I'm um, well connected to put on our website. Okay. Was that the first uni lot done, well connected? Yeah, so with gigs, I bought gigs when um, I was on my holiday. He was on holiday, I was on holiday. And then literally we just bumped into each other. We used to see each other on visits and in the visiting hall, but he was doing a workshop, I was doing a workshop. And when it, we both finished early, so we was out in the corridor together. And he's like, yo, I swear you rap, innit? He done a tune with my man, innit? Killer Kai, I'm saying, yeah. And he's like, yeah, he showed it to me when man was going to a show, he's saying, you're cold. We chopped it up quickly, we had to go our separate ways. And then any time we would see each other, we would just talk for like a five, 10 minutes or whatever. So then I've hit him up. I was starting to um, make music and I've hit him up, I think Twitter or something. And I'm like, yo, um, I got a trap. Yeah. But I weren't sure how he was going to respond to it. I wasn't expecting nothing from him, but at the same time, it would have been cold to have him on the project. So I've just hit him up like, yo. And yeah, he was with it. He said, send over the track. This was well connected. Sick. So I sent it to him from the pen with my verses on it. I've recorded my verses when I came out on a, on a home lead and then um, sent it to him. He's dealt with it. That was the that was the best feature for somebody in your position in terms of the music you were making to yeah, get. Yeah, yeah, and I surprised people because they didn't think man could go toe to toe with gigs. I've ended up getting wretch on the project, and, and I that, that was one of the ca that was one of the catalysts for mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I was there that day. You guys shot a video for a different song. I forget the title right now. Round was, here. Yeah, round here. Yeah. I love that tune and I feel like you two like really went toe to toe on that one as well because yeah, 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 both yeah. your verses are super solid. Yeah, so um, there's a story with that as well. That song weren't even meant to be that song. Okay. The producer manifested that. He must have been dreaming at that moment, but it's my guy still. So basically, I've invited Hollow down for a session. Yeah. But I've got a beat in mind what I want to use for the song that we're going to do. By the time we've got into the studio, there's a beat playing. The, produce, the engineer that's just meant to be um, mixing our verses or whatever, he's playing one of his own beats. Quick advertisement. Quick advertisement, yeah, cool. So we're in there. I'm not even paying attention because I know in my head I've got the song that we're going to use. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So cool, five minutes I've let it play, then I'm like, yo, load up. We're there trying to catch a vibe. Gigs is like, yo, 
This Run one's that. hard still, but where's the other beat that was playing when man walked in? He's like, Run that one back again. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. What, the other one? And he's like, Yeah, that was cold. But I'm pissed now. I'm more <laughs> pissed with the engineer that he's fucked up the whole. Because remember, I've got this planned in my head, innit? Yeah, of course. So now I'm pissed with the engineer. I'm saying, Yo, play that song again, innit? <laughs> You get me, then boom. As he's playing it, yeah, my man's just gone in the booth. Yeah. He weren't on this right, he didn't write nothing. He's gone, that's the first time I've even seen a man do that. The no writing thing. He's gone in the booth and he just started with the whip it in the house, whip it in the. F-. But these times, even I'm thinking this is the hook. Okay. So I started trying to write something like as if that was the hook, but he's not stopping. I'm saying, oh shit, but the more he's doing, it's sounding colder and colder and colder. I'm saying, yo, we might be on to something, you know. Okay. And then, yeah, literally, the rest is history, man. So I was there when you brought him to Church Road. Yeah. To yeah, shoot yeah, that video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the ends like that day? Like, yeah. were they like, because that was the first time you've done something like that. Yeah. I, you see what it is with the man them now? Like, the man them will show love, but... They'll never act up. But I remember there was an issue with the lighting in this. Yeah, yeah, in yeah, the yeah, cage. yeah. The man had to roll on the man. Yeah, Capone. But luckily, Capone done me dirty. yeah, but luckily, because if we never got that cage light like, switched on, we couldn't have shot that video that day. Are you saying you remember the technical difficulties? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, Shit, yeah. No it was a moment. Us, boy. It was no a moment. Forgiveness. Nah, there's been a few. See you, Posty. <laughs> oh my days. Yo, it's this not me guy, behind man. the buttons, you know. The amount of L's that I've taken. What other ones you got for me? All right, cool. Oh, shit. The first little whatever. Oh, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. made man pull up and there's bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's man upstairs, but I don't step like that. Yeah, no, of And course. I'm sure you told me, it's calm, no one's here. Cool, that's happened. Yeah. There's probably something in between that I can't remember. No, but no, the next right. thing what I remember, <laughs> Being yeah. invited to a session in in the old GRM building, pull up, yo, I got um you was doing the the tracks, the collective tracks. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Pull up, I drove from far all the way to wherever it was. I tried to lay down the verse, I never finished it off that night. Oh, cool. you left your phone? You stole my phone. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> What right, are you doing? I ain't gonna say it, nah. I ain't wait, even gonna wait, say wait, that. Wait, wait. No one ain't even gonna believe that. Wait, so wait. Not say that. My phone. <laughs> Listen, all right, it's like me being here now with you. Me being here in this car with you now, yeah. I oh, leave shit. out the car, I go about within the hour, within an hour of oh, me getting out the shit. car, I've shout you like, yo, P, left my phone in the car. No one else ain't been in your car. But the phone's gone missing. Wait, 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 wait. Anyway, that was another thing. There's one more. No, that's it. No, 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 that definitely ain't it. There's another one. I want to talk about how funny you are, because I don't think people actually know. Like, one of my favourite lyrics, especially from you, is like when you said, like, Nigga said he got my money, I told him, hold that. <laughs> it's that over June nice now. Me. Here's what we do now. <laughs> For everyone I want to now. Yeah. You better count yourself lucky that I never said funeral. Yeah, do you know even that? I'm glad you said funeral, cause enough people don't know that's what I'm saying. They say I never send few round. Or everyone's got their own interpretation of that, but I wouldn't say that's funny. You find that funny? I find that hilarious that you wrote that down. Nah, but you wrote like that I down. said, it's yeah. like, I don't think that was a... People's owed me money in the past, and once man owe me money for a certain amount of time and you keep avoiding man or you keep telling man stories and this and that, I don't want it. I don't even want the money again. Hold that. Or you owe me more than you initially owed me because of the time that you're taking. This is why I've never borrowed no money from you, because yeah. I know you're a nah, man of principle. I, yeah, exactly that. But that's it. It's just a man of principle. Someone played me an unreleased verse from you, and you even said something like, I'll bang you in the face of five bills. I bet you never thought that I would stoop that low. And I just started crying, bro. Like you don't understand. No, like exactly it's the right. way it's the way you express yourself in these in these. In yeah, these yeah, yeah, yeah. That song ain't come out. Who played you that? 
No, I can't. I, I can't, can't even remember. I can't, what I I can't said, do that on bro. camera. It's real life, innit? But it's a thing where. So like if I'd, I've seen a man now and I jumped out the car and just punched him in his face, I've got back in the car and you're like, Ra, what was that all about? And I'm saying he owes my five bills. You're going to look at me like, five bills? And he done all of that. So that's why I'm saying I bet you thought that I wouldn't stoop that low, innit? But it's principle again. The day... You became one of my favourite rappers, actually, was when we was, um, you know, the day I stole your phone? Oh, yeah, yeah. And you was recording London's Calling. Yeah. And I was, like, watching you record this song, and I think it was, like, two hours, and you only had four bars, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, yo. You see me, yeah? <laughs> no, um, wait, let me finish. Go on, go on. I said, yo, what's going on? <laughs> And he said, bro, I just put a whole mixtape. I ain't got nothing else to say. <laughs> and like, yeah. that's when I re- that's when you became one of my favorite rappers, because I realized like you're not trying to rap just to rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like as in like you're not gonna say a word to rhyme really just yeah. to rhyme if it don't really mean something yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly what you said. It's because I don't just say stuff to fill up lines. I don't just say things for the sake of it. I just remembered the time you was talking about earlier where something went wrong. And this is what What's it that, is. the third one? No, no, the second one. You couldn't remember the second one. Yeah. So the second one is, yeah, we were shooting a video for um, Faith and Makili. Yeah. And some people turned up to the oh, shoot yeah, after yeah, we'd yeah, left. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they came... And yeah, while production yeah, yeah. was there, some people came with some baseball bats randomly or whatever. Is that what they had baseball bats. So I phoned you yeah. to let you know, okay, cool, well, this just happened. I'm expecting you to say something like, oh, good thing we got out of there quick. I mean, we was rolling light, mm. that kind of stuff. Yeah. You know what you said to me? What did I say? You said... Man can't move to me with bats. Uh, <laughs> that was your reaction. Uh, <laughs> that? Yeah, that's long. You can't do that. It's just a message to everyone. Don't come at me with no bats, car. I'm going to disarm you. It still goes back to what you were saying about this one and only and whatnot, whatnot. It's just how I see myself. Like, I, I hold myself high in it. <laughs> You served some time. Obviously, if people don't understand what's happened, is you had time served mm-hmm. and you got sentenced and you've served your time. That's why you're not in jail. Yeah. But coming out after doing time served, obviously, I believe you signed a distribution deal. Um, it's not a distribution deal. It's with, a, it's with EGA Distro, but it's a it's an album deal. Okay, cool. So you signed an album deal. Mm-hmm. It's no secret that I would say maybe like the last five years have been quite turmoil for you in terms of life experiences and things you've been going through. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's it been like making this album before you got sentenced, knowing that there might be a possibility you might be going back to jail? Because people don't actually maybe realise that type of stress. Yeah, so basically from um, 2020, man got remanded and then went for trial, hung jury, 2022, I got bail. But the two years that I done on remand, that that gets held on to. So there was a retrial which happened in 2023. But also whilst I'm, I was on bail, I was on tag, Every two days you're on tag counts as one day in prison. So, long story, by the time I've gone for the, um, the retrial, and however it turned out, my sentence was, the time that they gave me to serve, I've already served it. That's what time served is. So then, um, in the process, since um, 2022 when I was released, that's when I've signed the deal when I've got bail, but I've signed the deal knowing that I've still got to go back to trial in 2023. And once I signed, it made it a harder process because that adds pressure now. Like, yo, you've got this label that's relying on you to to deliver, innit? 
my bro was still in jail at the time. Like, I've had to leave him in jail to get bail. Literally, we're in the same cell. I've had to walk out and leave him, knowing as well that the charge that he's on, there's a chance that I might not see him again. That's the reality of the situation man was in, innit? Writing, like you just said, sometimes the process is long, innit? If it don't happen organically, I don't force it. So when I've signed, I remember the first meeting that I had with the label, I was talking wicked. Like, yeah, I'm gonna do this, 80s baby part two by the summer, this, that, that. But the 80s baby thing, there was more complications to it than just me not writing it. It was the beats and all of that. That's why that hasn't happened yet. But how I was talking in the meeting and then how the next few months went after that, it weren't the same. Like I'm saying I'm gonna deliver this, deliver that, and then I ain't delivering nothing. But one thing about me is I don't like give up. If I've got a job to do, I'll get it done. So every night, remember I'm on tag at the time as well. So every night, flicking on instrumentals and trying a thing. It's not happening. I'll get like a little four bars. Or I'll write a 16, but it's not, I don't feel it, innit? Yeah. So, and then Chuck, shout out Chuck, producer. I think he came to check me. And then Check ended up being the first like song that I wrote for the album, but that kind of unlocked a lot for man as well. This, what I'm about to say now, people's gonna think I'm certain shit, but I swear to God, my album, 98% of the album, I wrote in the space of two weeks. From I wrote Check, that was it. Like, it's like, I unlocked and then what I was doing, cause like, when I unlock, it's a feeling that you get, like when you're in the zone, everything's just flowing, innit? So it's like, I didn't even want to sleep here. There's nights when I'm up to like five in the morning just writing, cause I don't want to go sleep and the lose zone. the yeah, energy, yeah. 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 So literally two weeks, everything came together. Check, I was gonna step out with Check initially. And then I've played it to the man them, and they're like, yeah man, it's cold, but we feel like you could have came stronger or with something stronger, but I like that kind of feedback. That's why I love the man them, innit? Cause they just keep it 100. Anyway, once I've heard it from them, like, yeah, it's hard, but this ain't the one. That's all I needed to go back home, hit back the drawing board. I had a beat from Quincy from time ago. I liked it, but when I'm trying to write to it, it's not happening, so I've just left it alone. Once I've switched on with Check, that came to my head straight away, like, yo, let me draw back for that Quincy beat and see if anything happens now. And then literally slapped on the beat. See the questions, how normal starts? It, it happened like that. I didn't think of those lines. Those lines just came to man. One thing led to another, we ended up with no more. Within that two weeks, everything came together, apart from the features. I was just putting down verses, and then after I'd think, who would sound cold on that? Who would sound cold on this? And then it just started coming together. Why I'm saying 98%, because the last 2%, like there's tracks that just got added the other day and all of that. <laughs> Album's called Reflection. Yeah. You've been through a lot. Mm -hmm. Do you want to explain why you called it Reflection and what you're reflecting on? Yeah. If it so, isn't obvious. Yeah, but it's like, I don't know if double on tundra is the right word, but reflection is basically, there's two meanings to it. So reflection is, yeah, I'm reflecting on my life and then reflection as well is just, what I see when I look in the mirror as well. Like the man that I see when I look in the mirror. Now, when you explain it like that, I, could, I don't think you could have picked a better name for the title of your album mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in this present time that we're in. Obviously, you're looking back on what you've been through. Yeah. But then you're also looking at what it's made you and what you've become. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly it, yeah. You kind of explain, obviously, as Scraps fans and people that have been watching you for a long time, you have been on holiday a few times. You've mm -hmm. kind of made that prophecy that that's the last time, pretty much, that yeah, you're going to put yourself been, through that. So what can we expect from Scraps in the next five years? Like, are you going to 
continue to like give music your hundred percent now and it's so it's funny you use the word continue because I I don't feel like I ever have given music my hundred percent. It's only now that I'm about to give music my hundred percent. Like before my holiday or whatever, if you rolled with me for a week straight, two weeks, three weeks, you wouldn't know that I'm a rapper. You wouldn't have no idea that I'm a rapper just in my day-to-day -day lifestyle. I don't do nothing that would make you think that I'm a rapper. I just about used to go studio. I would only really go studio when it's project time or feature time. It's not like I was in the studio religiously, daily or nothing like that. Rap was just like a hobby. It's not a continuation. This is like a new start for man, innit? I say a lyric like that on my outro on this album as well. Scraps is back for the last time now. Scraps is going forward, trying to leave a fortune for my daughters, trying to travel around the world and see the seven corners. It's like a new chapter of my life. Obviously, I'm in the label situation now. I ain't been in this before. So everything's just different. It's more professional and there's more structure to it. I'm feeling it. It's a feeling that man's got. It's not just something that you do and you say, you have to feel it as well, innit? So, like, I can feel the transition happening. By the way, when I said continue earlier, I was just making you look good. No, I know, I know, but I gotta make it clear to them as well, still, that it's not even continuing, that they're gonna even be able to see. No, 100. Is this what this car does? You nearly made the cyclist crash just looking on the car. Is that what he's doing? You never see him. He's no. driving backwards, looking back. We're almost back at Chiefers now, obviously. Chief is your cousin, I'm dropping you back there. I don't know what kind of millionaire ventures you lot are doing today. So but we're just trying to aspire to be like you, folks. We're cool. going to have the meeting now and try and figure <laughs> out what it is we got to do for. But you yeah, like separately to that as well, just quickly, big up yourself for everything that you've done for the culture, you're doing for the culture, and even for yourself that you've just achieved as a man. No, I appreciate it's you, bro. Amazing. You've always been extremely supportive to whatever I've got going yeah, on. Yeah, no, but it's inspirational to see, isn't it? Like, even though you're my uncle, man, call you uncle. Yeah, and I always tell you we're the same age. We're the so same I just, age, I just can't but I base it off achievements. You're getting that, that name off achievements, and it? it's not age. It's more in life when you achieve certain things and... You're, you're, you're in a certain position, that's just the title that you're going to get. I appreciate that coming from you because I uh, respect you a lot. Yeah, man. So I just wanted to take that time out to big up you. You got any questions um, for me? This is like the yeah, I'll give you dinner, one with, dinner with Posty or 500k. I want the 500k in <laughs> <laughs> Chief is a very reputable, respected man in London, so are you. And obviously, yeah. like, you lot have done... I actually saw an Instagram the other day when he was talking about those Ice City chains that he mm -hmm, done mm -hmm. that were kind of a big deal at the time. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, And obviously, definitely. that was definitely um, part of Chief's success in establishing himself as a jewellery creator at the mm -hmm, time. Mm -hmm. So I think that being able to do sick business together at times is... Yeah, Definitely now big helpful. up Chiefer, man. What he's doing at the moment as well, it's not no small thing. Like, he's got a shop in Mayfair. Yeah. On Berkeley Street, opposite Novikov, Rolls Race, Range Rover. Well, before we wrap this up, yeah, I just want to make sure that everybody knows that Reflection is out right now. It's out right now. It was made under extreme circumstances. Mm -hmm. uh, you've been through a lot. We're definitely, definitely in support of you, and we hope that your reflection of yourself even continues to get greater and that you become as big and as powerful as you need to be in the music industry and in life and in general, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, we hope we have that, that leave the past in the past and your future is even brighter, you know what I'm saying? So definitely. we're definitely going to be running that up. We're going to be at the show on the 15th, Coco. Um. Come on, come Shut on. Shut down. I've been to two, well, one of your shows before. I feel like that was in Coco as well. Nah, that was Kentish Town Forum. Oh, Kentish Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So in London calling was not too... And um, I think Greenlight just came out, but you wouldn't let me get the track. 
No, no, I don't That's know what that. happened. I wanted to perform it, but you weren't no, letting no, it go. No, no, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. You letting that it was go. a good show, though. I enjoyed that show, yeah, still. Yeah, no, it went well. For sure, I appreciate your time. I just want to make sure that before you go, mm -hmm. you have left no phones, <laughs> no laptops. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've got to check you, not <laughs> no check phones. me. I've got to check your pockets. No laptops. Imagine you know that. Because you didn't even tell you. them that I gave you access to the building the next day and you still could have fired your phone. Yeah, how can I find the stolen did you have phone? A, did you have a phone lock? A phone lock? Yeah, the, what's that thing that you put your yeah, pin in? Yeah, but if you're going to send it to Ghana, that don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> if you're sending that to Ghana, that don't matter. Oh, but yeah, shit. nah, but I have to mention that you did reimburse me for the phone because you felt guilty. Cap, you did. did. I? Did I? Yeah, you gave him a five bills. You're lying. I said that you felt guilt. It, it was a madness, Pete. That's a good thing, because obviously we it know was how... It the guilt. We know, we know, we just know how you, you ever, feel. I'm not we even going to mention who else was in the studio, we but... We know how you feel about... Like we know how you feel thing. about five bills. <laughs> we, know, <laughs> we know how you feel. <laughs>